back. G'day, welcome back. Cal Sock National Park. Now, the first time I came here was today. And I walked around in circles for about 30 minutes before I worked out how to get a boat. Now, I wanted a private boat. All right, so I'm gonna walk you through how to get here, or once you get here, how you get a boat, all right, without being mucked around. So it's gonna cost you around about 2,000 baht. And then if you wanna tip your, right on cue, and then if, if you wanna tip your operator, your skipper, that's up to you. I had a great time, I gave my guy a thousand baht, he was a beauty, he um, <laughs> he really sent it, and he, he showed me some extra stuff that wasn't on the agenda, and um, even let me have a swim at an awesome place, so I'll roll some footage and some photos of that when I'm done here, but I thought this would be helpful if someone made a video on actually how to get a boat, alright, so this is for a private tour, All right. but if you want to get on a group, just, you know, go to your travel agent in town wherever you're staying in Thailand and you'll get a mini mini bus here and <clears throat> they'll sort it all out for you at a little extra cost I imagine but I rode my motorbike here so you're going to come down here this is where the staff park you want to come down here and hang a right all right you can't miss it everything's in English and Thai park your motorbike down here for 20 baht all right if you're driving a car 40 baht all right so it's a dollar 60 australian nothing all right dollar us but you're always going to cross, cross those guys that have a sook all right so once you park your motorbike down there all right, i'll just pop you around the corner i'm not going to walk all the way down there but you get the gist we're going to park your motorbike down there lovely ladies at the hut there park your motorbike up get sorted then come through here hang a right down these stairs all right you can cut through there if you like, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take you through. Come down here. All right. Around the corner here. All right. So come around here, through here. Just ignore all these guys. But when I come in, there was the usual one where you got random guys trying to sell you trips. Just ignore them, come straight up this counter. There's a list of things you can do. Speak to the lady behind the counter and she has a pamphlet there with all the prices. She'll give you a quick spiel of what you're in for. Like I said, I paid 1,700 baht. But I'm gonna walk you through, I'm gonna show you where you pay your 300 baht for your national park fee. So any national park in Thailand, you're always gonna pay some sort of entry fee. So don't have a sook about it, just pay it, all right? Keeps their economy going, keeps it strong. All right, so yeah, I might have rushed that a little bit too much. So I'll just show you the list up here. All the places you can go. Really means nothing to you until you have a look at the map. All right. So, not gonna, not gonna be that guy and get in those guys' way. All right, and then cruise through here. You can grab a coffee or a. A drink or a feed if you want from here. I didn't, I can't be bothered. Um, down these stairs. Outside restaurant here as well if you want a feed. Alright. Down these stairs here. So a pretty quick process. Once you got it sussed out, it's, it's honestly like a five minute process. Get off your motorbike, get out of your van, walk through. Pay your money, all right? Then you're gonna come through, so that's where we were, all right? Don't go through those gates. You're gonna come through here. So, Coal Sock Cafe sign, come through here. One thing I do a lot, I really like about this place, is there's, there's no, it's not like, um, you know, like down in Patong where everyone's trying to jump in your face and sell you stuff, they just leave you alone. Everyone's like super friendly. All right, then you're gonna come through here. Oh, and this is where you're going to pay your tickets, all right? So you got these two booths. Doesn't matter which one you go to first. So you're going to pay your 40 baht municipal peer services fee. All right. With this lovely lady here. All right, 40 baht. All right. So pay that. And then next door, 
is where you're going to pay for your national park ticket, so 200 baht. All right, we'll pay it there. Pay that, so that's 240 baht. All right, so yeah, it's not 300 baht, it's 240, but there you go. All right, and then so once you leave there, you come through here. All right, and then you'll show you you'll show your ticket to these to these guys here, and then off you go through through to the park. All right, if you've bought a private boat, all right, you've brought a private charter, you're actually going to get escorted by one of the lovely ladies up here who will introduce you to your skipper down on the water here. So I'll just show you. We'll pop through this little gap here because I haven't got my ticket on me to go back through. All right, and then you go down that pier there, down, down, down. All right, and they're going to put you onto your boat, your private boat. Now, you're going to go and explore this unbelievably beautiful national park. And then when you come back up, my, my trip was two hours, all right? So I just did a two-hour trip. But um, you've, got, you've got plenty of other options, like two, three, four, five, six, seven hours, whole day. You can stay on the water. There's plenty of accommodation available. Anything from a 1,000 baht to a $1,000 Australian, all right? sky's the limit all right and then when you come back they drop you off at this pier here you walk through there all right and then let's have a look all right so when you're finished when you finish your tour it's pretty easy it's a good little setup all right plenty of shade too it's good i like it i like it i like it it's good it's good <laughs> all right so when you finish <laughs> all right so i'm walking as fast as i can here all right <laughs> you're gonna come up here all right where, yeah see look where these where these like i'm just filling i'm just filling that hole there where these lovely people are coming up i met this lady um drop out you come up here all right and then surprise surprise you're going to hang a left here and down to your motorbike or your minivan all right if you've got a minivan you know no doubt there's going to be someone here waiting for you with a sign like one of these guys okay they're a minivan operator all right pay your motorbike your motorbike's going to be down here safe and sound and then you're off to the races all right I hope this helped because when I got here, <laughs> I wouldn't say it was a nightmare, but it took me a while to figure out. And I'm a seasoned, I'm a seasoned traveler. So I hope this helps. So if anyone else has got any helpful advice on this, you know what to do, leave a comment. If you like this video and you want me to do more, please subscribe, click the bell and all that stuff. If you don't, that's okay. Alright, thanks for joining. Bye for now. You.